at the end of what was probably their most harrowing day since their arrest at Lima's airport two weeks ago, Michaela McCollum and Melissa Reed have now formally been charged with drug trafficking. It was always an inevitability after they were discovered with 11 kilos of cocaine in their luggage as they tried to board a plane from Lima to Madrid, but it will doubtless have come as a shock to the 20-year-olds to be told that they could be sentenced to up to 15 years in prison for the crime. As they were moved yesterday from their police cell to the state attorney's office outside Lima and then from there to a courthouse in handcuffs, they look pale and bewildered. Neither of them speak Spanish and it must have now dawned on them that they are embroiled in a very long and very complex legal process to try to prove their innocence. The lawyer for one of the women, Michaela McCollum, told the BBC that the conditions they were being detained in were poor. They're expected to, to lie almost on the floor. There's a sort of a sponge-type uh, bed, uh, which is just not, not acceptable. There are no blankets. It's, uh, it's not clean. And the, the most important thing is that they haven't actually been offered any food today. No. And, and it didn't look as if they were going to be. The two women have consistently protested their innocence, saying they were forced into carrying the cocaine by a drug trafficking organisation operating in Ibiza. And when their trial eventually reaches court, they intend to plead not guilty. But judging from the slow nature of the process so far, that day in court could still be several months away. Will Grant, BBC News, Peru.